Welcome, Samantha's Facebook community. Today, thank you for joining. And today we're going to do an intuitive bow spring flow. It will be soft and gentle, and I hope you enjoy. If you have a couple of blocks or a cushion, that might be helpful and I would go get those now and bring them to your mat. Welcome, Damon. Hope you can practice along today. So I was just saying, we're going to do a soft and flowing bow spring class today. If you have a couple of blocks, that would work great to start the class on. If you don't have a couple of blocks, a cushion uh, piled up will work just as well. So I will mindfully come down to the floor by swiveling my heels in, the belly's long, the knees resist each other as I lower down. Take the blocks and, or the cushion and stack them on each other. And come to a kneeling rest with your sit bone seated on the block. I like to check my feet here to look for any patterns that may happen. So a lot of times the toes will sickle in and that's a pattern, that's a habit, that's something we've learned and been doing for a long time. And we don't have to do that anymore. We can make a new choice now. What would happen if I reposition my foot there Feels different. Feels kind of good. Try it out. So bringing your attention inward, seated on the block. An anterior tilt in the pelvis establishes the widening of the pelvic floor, the opening of the hips. Imagine your rib cage expanding each rib space gets bigger with each breath. Envision the ribs in the lower back area. Even reach back and touch them. Are they deep? See if you can expand them and fill them out so they press into the boundaries. The front ribs, it's a little bit easier to do that with. It's easier to Stretch the space between the front ribs. But how about the back ribs? Bring awareness there for maybe the first time. Okay, if your hands are up there, let's go ahead and bring the hands down to the thighs in a dome shape. The dome shape of our hand has every joint of the finger bent. Let the domes come lightly to the top of your thighs. And let the ro rotation of your elbows upward and out. Float the arms as they remain contacted at the fingertips to the thighs. In bowspring, we attempt equal tone in the whole body 
If one place right now feels overworked, see if you can redistribute the work to another area that's not working at all. Bring your attention back to those floating ribs. The expansion of the low ribs and the floating ribs. Getting big all the way around. And notice how this expansion of the rib cage has the ability to float you a little bit higher. The waist gets longer and carves in on the sides. Now, we bow, we bow. Head comes forward and feel expansion in that place between the shoulder blades. That place we call the back heart. Let's spend a little bit of time here expanding in the back heart, but keeping the belly soft. Bring your left hand to your low belly, below the belly button, and bring your right hand to your chest. Your left hand supports the opening of your belly, which may feel uncomfortable. It may feel vulnerable. But you're supporting it with your hand. Take the right hand and bring it to your upper back, the place between your shoulder blades, and use that as a place to breathe fullness into. Replace the right hand on the chest, and keeping the fullness of the back heart, pull your ears back to lift your head. Let's try that again. Bow forward. Dome your upper back. Belly supported with the left hand. Belly soft. Fill in the place between your shoulder blades. Round it out. And then bow. Ears go back. The bow shape of your neck matches that of your belly. The neck and the waist are equivalent in their ability to lengthen and taper. Open your eyes. And press your hands forward. Touch all ten fingertips together in a low glow. Globe hands, two dome hands touching together. Elbows round and if I'll show you the big circle of my arms. It's not a, it's not a pointed elbows. It's not a stretching forward. We're trying to get as round as possible in the arms and in the palms and the fingers. Your globe is about the level of your navel.
See if you can find that roundness of your upper back again. And float your mouth palate. Lift your nasal sinuses. Explore central channel. That open energetic channel that runs throughout our torso, throughout our head, exits through our pelvic floor that allows for the inner energy exchange. Reach two seed hands forward, seed hands, soft fist, soft fingers, palms tone. Elbows lift. And we'll take a couple sways here. Sway to the right. Little pulse. Left ribs start to open up to the side. And come back center. We'll sway to the left. Right ribs open to right side. Keep your face towards the front, but tilt your head so that your right ear is towards the ceiling and left ear points towards your left shoulder. Come up center. We'll bring our hands back down to those low domes on the top of the knees. We'll lift now the ankle so that there's a space between your ankle and the floor. The palms of the feet can squeeze so that you can hold a little golf ball there. In bowspring, we recreate and repair the arches of the foot. So the ankles lifted, the soles of the feet cupping, heels pressed back, and let's lift up to high knees by energetically pressing the knees away from each other Booty slides back and come up high. Move your blocks aside. And reach two arms, elbows forward to chin up bar. Belly's long still. And you slide your hips back, keep an anchoring to the floor with the lift of the ankles, the cupping of the soles of the feet. Elbows press forward towards the front space to round your upper back. The belly lengthens, the neck lengthens. You can find a gentle pulse and sway here. Elbows push towards each other and also energetically resist each other. Dome both of the palms and touch down fingertips through the side of the head. Elbows reach towards each other. We'll scan the body here. These little movements 
in this precise manner. Sometimes need to be reprogrammed. Identify that place on the low belly we touched earlier and let it go. Release the pelvic floor at the same time. Then slide and glide hips back. Ankle lifting and the tops of the foot, the shoelace part of the foot pressing into the floor provides anchorage, which we can move from. If you feel inclined, find subtle movement here. Feel your elbows rotating in as you explore the fascial connection that wraps from one elbow around the back and ties to the other elbow. We will slide the hips back and crescent to the right. Staying full in the right waist, getting really big in the left ribs. pulses brings you back center on the other side. Careful not to collapse into the left waist. We'll keep a fullness there and keep a floating idea of the ribs. It lifts towards the ceiling and when you do that all the moves become easier and lighter. And then bring it up center. Reach seeds forward and do a seaweed sway. Seaweed sway, reset. Do the funny dance. La 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 la. Hips go back a lot. Oh, sway to the left. Left fingertips down. Hips back, look how close they are to my heel. I catch left heel with left hand. Notice the groin crease here. Increase the crease in your groin. Right hand can reach forward in a seed's fist as you pulse. Does that, if that doesn't feel good, send me a message. And we'll work on it together. Find the bliss. If you want to try to find some more bliss, try an ecstasy arm here. And feel free to let out any sighs or moans as you do this. And then sway it to the center. And then sway it back, hips back, right hand touching down the heel. Mm. The head tilts, but the chin still in line with the breastbone. Left hand can come to ecstasy here. Mm. Slide and glide hips back. Reach two domes forward as you energetically press the knees away from each other. Touch down, fingernails first. Fingernails stay where they are as you slide onto your palms. Come up to all fours position. 
And you may need to walk your knees back a little bit to make your, give your belly enough room. Hands wide as the mat. And we'll fill in that back heart by bowing forward some. So just go ahead and bring your chin to your chest. So fill in that place between the shoulder blades. Get so full and tall there that that back heart could even touch the ceiling. It's doming up so high. Experience the fullness there. Now press the tops of the feet into the floor. Keep the fullness in your back heart and lift the tailbone. So with the tailbone lifted and the back heart lifted, I've got that nice lumbar curve in my spine here that's not compressed, it's open and full and lengthening. Energetically pressing the knees away from each other helps open the pelvic floor. And then we'll lift the back of the head back, keeping the neck long in the back and the front. And the eyes look forward. You know where you're going. Pulsing comes naturally when you're light. And feel like doing some barrel rolls here. I'm going to take it the other way. And fill in the back part, lift the tailbone, press the knees away from each other. And we're going to pick up the left foot and move it a couple inches, about six inches to the left. And then tuck the right toes under and open the right knee to the right for humble cat. Start to pulse here and see how that feels. And then start to twist open. So we pulse the hips back and then we open the right ribs to the ceiling. The right fingertips naturally go to a dome, maybe even lift off the floor as your right ribs rainbow towards the ceiling. The top of the head and the tailbone are the ends of the rainbow, which point towards the floor. Drag the right paw back to get an activation in the back of the left leg. Good. And when you're complete, right hand slides down, right knee replaces. In the transition, keep fullness in your back part and feet come back to start. Transition with integrity. On the mat. And in life. Other side, humble cat, lift right foot, move a couple of inches to the right to act as a kickstand. Tuck the left toes under and then swivel the heel towards your body as you swivel the knee outward. Drag the left paw back towards the heel to activate the back of the leg. And find a beautiful pulse. Let your Left ribs, rainbow up, let your head and your tailbone point towards the earth. 
The left hand naturally comes to a dome or even breaks free of the floor. You have an option here to try an ecstasy arm. Or keep the hand in the dome on the mat. Whatever feels good. And then swivel the knee back to the earth, transitioning with integrity, remaining full. Heels come back. And then we're going to walk our hands wide here. Coming off the mat some. And my hands are a little bit in front of my shoulders. Now I'm going to walk the knees back some and then pull the heels in towards the hamstrings. Get full in the back part. Actually, we'll, we'll dome, we will dome it out again by bringing the chin in and feeling the supreme fullness before lifting the chin out of the chest. Keep that fullness and come down halfway. Lift the booty, lift your whole self. Panther prep push-up. So when you can, Use the booty and the legs. It's not just in your arms. When you can stay full between the shoulder blades, it's easy as a feather. Bonus points if you can fiesta flare your feet at the same time. Fiesta flare to the opposite sides. All right. Lower your elbows down to the mat. And bring the hands to soft seed fists. Lift a space between the floor and your wrist to find a wrist hollow. And tuck your toes under. Lift your back heart plenty. And then lift up. <laughs> Sphinx cat. So it's a sphinx arm for the crouching cat. And do a couple pulses here. Swivel the heels to the left. And we'll lift the right elbow off the floor. And then touch right elbow down. Keep your toes down. Swivel the heels to the right and lift the right elbow off the floor. Swivel the heels back and then lower down. Fill in your back heart, resist the knees to each other and lift the elbows off the floor. Walk the hands back. And tuck the toes under. Energetically press the knees away from each other and lift the hips high. Crouching cat. Look forward and find a pulse that's meaningful. It's fun. Twisted cat right, toes and knees, swivel to the right, and let's bring it back center, heels go back, toes stay down the whole transition. Twisted cat left, toes and knees to the left, stay high in the back, couple pulses, and then heels twist back, float your heart. Knees come down with integrity, with mindfulness, we lead. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips, twist the cat left, and then bend the knees to the hips down on the floor 
by the heels. Replace your right hand pointed towards the left forward corner of the mat. And then grab left paw. Press left paw into left hand and rotate the shoulders up. Maybe float into a right hand dome. Or lift two B vector arms. You can pulse this leg here. Belly's long, light. And then we'll replace it. Get ready for this smooth transition. Dome slides to palm. Other hand, dome slides, palm. Lift up, swivel heels. Other way, sit down. Right hand to right paw. So notice my hips are back behind my, the rest of my body here. If they were tucked under, this move would be so different. The hips are back, the belly's long, and I grab the paw from the inside of the knee. As I push into the hand, that lights my left hand, and I can even come to my fingernails. Float the left hand up, and then rotate the elbows back, and dome the back part. Head floats, neck and waist mirror each other, and link. And then replace the foot to the floor, come out, knees come down, hips come to heels, and we'll end where we started. If you need the block and the cushion, you're welcome to find that now. Or you can just sit on your heels in a hero pose. Optionally, you could lift your ankles off the floor, find your ankle hollows for even more bowspring activation. The back leg activates as you pull your heels back and away, knees press away, full body integrity reach. You curl your fingers forward like you're scooping air. And then finally, touch down, globe hands together. Make the globe and the arm circle so big, and then stretch your back away from it, your head away from it. A couple pulses here. I can feel us practicing together right now. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hey guys, anybody watching? How's it going? Thank you. Let me know if any questions. <laughs>